Sanji, let's start there, because I think you, you, you said something very interesting. You said about, this is where I make my money. <laughs> and we're all in business, and money and commerce will be a recurring theme. How does creativity and disruption for you fit into the, the money-making process? Well, really, I mean, if you were going to say where I make my money, it's an experiential. Yeah. I know how to do experiential. I've been doing that for 20 years. So, um, and it's, it's very much the same where, you know, originally we were doing something weird and if people ha had any experience at all it would maybe it would be some dressed up girls around Santa or something like that you know but now it seems to be it's it's it more and more and ha like like digital didn't used to have like a place in a budget really did it mm. you know but but uh, same with experiential so right now that. we have a contrast between being creative in an experiential terms and using technology to be creative no That's... I'm saying they're the same I'm saying they're both trends that have come up yeah. grown over the last yeah. 20 years and that they're connected yes I wasn't suggesting the they reason... were in conflict but they no, were no, in no, tandem. I'm saying they've grown together and they're connected because you know, as the growth of digital, um, so people actually need um, to connect personally at events. Um, so I've seen them growing very much together and also have been weaving more and more tech into my events over the last few years. So Kevin, let's pick, let's pick up on this theme for you. You come from a, uh, one of the biggest event management companies, experiential agencies in the world. You set up your own business, new business as an entrepreneur. So you go corporate entrepreneur, and at the heart of it, your business is called the experiences, the marketing. Start to tie those two, start to weave, as Deb said, those two ideas together for us. The, uh, so I, I think what's happened is experience, of, experience are a cultural currency. You know, we live our life through experiences. That's the thing we value. We judge brands by the experiences they create for us, not by the advertising. So that drive between experiential and experiences. So when I say the experience is the marketing, there is nothing else. That's what we believe. We believe what's in front of us. We believe the way we're dealt with in store. We believe the way we're dealt with on, on websites, at the call center. When we get the product home, that is what the marketing is. That's the experience. And I think what's happened as we've got better at understanding technology, the, the, last bastion of, uh, uh, the, the last bastion of our journey is tying creativity, technology and experience together, because I think that's the future for us. Yeah. This is a close question. You each have to give a yes or no answer. Does digital <laughs> disrupt in a positive way all the time? Uh, no. <laughs> Dead. Depends how it's used. Kevin. Uh, no, no. There you go, see, now we're there we you, go. you should have let him do the question you wanted. I, th I think the problem, <laughs> <laughs> I think the problem at the moment is um, technology, that, you know, there's so much technology and there's lots of reasons for that, um, especially within the UK because of tax and you know, things like that. Um, there's so much happening at the moment, which is great, but there's a, a lot of it is driven by the gimmick of technology. It's yeah. not driven by yeah. how it can empower you, how it can yeah. uh, you know, push a brand narrative or a story or yeah. compel someone to engage with, with something within the space. Um, yeah, and there's, exactly. lots of, there's lots of companies out there who are trying to sell technology on the merit of it being technology. So you need this because it's going to do this for your business. But how is that going to make the consumer feel? How is it going to help the fan in the, at the event? How are people going to utilize this technology? Um, in a way that's seamless and not clunky. And what about the idea for the, the question that the, the group raised earlier um, in Jennifer's session about this, this notion of information overload, that actually it, it, there's, a, there's a moment where technology is not necessarily empowering, it's disabling because we're crushed by the, the 20 new apps I could have downloaded today to interact in some way. How do we, how do we see our way through that to, to the genuine experience? So I, personally, I, I... There, there has never been more information. We have never been richer. There's never been more information to gather. What we don't have is the insight. What we don't understand yet is what, what the insight is that's going to help us use that information in the way that we want to. And especially in a, in a brand or a brand marketing context, we look at data and we think that's the answer. The answer isn't that. It's the insight from the data that's going to drive the brand forward and, and as Stan said, drive the brand narrative. What we have to get better at doing in the event industry is drawing out the insights from the data that's in front of us or the, you know, the experiences we're creating because we're not doing that yet. One of the reasons, I'm going to give us all a huge round of applause because we've been going for a couple of hours now at an event industry conference and no one has yet said the three most offensive letters in the English language. Anyone want to hazard a guess what they are? Yeah, well, let's not use them. 
I want to ask a question ROI. about them. ROI. <laughs> thank you. We haven't said ROI once. I'm, I'm appropriating ROI. I'm using it all the time to mean not just money. I'm like, I'm like, what is the return? What, what do you want from this? That's and I'm so I've decided to. Uh, so and we could talk about, it, but, but uh, let's, yeah. let's extend that. Sanj, this is this is a perennial question since the the, the birth of tech. Can digital only ever enhance the physical? It can't replace it. I mean, I think we're talking about virtual events here and that sense um, of. Uh, I think, you know, we, we've been living in a digital do democracy for a while now, you know, since like 98, 99, um, you know, things have changed dramatically um, and cultures changed um, and habits have changed. And I think, I don't think digital is going to take over from anything. It's just, no. um, a, you know, there's, there's, there's new platforms, there's new ideas, um, there's new ways for people to communicate, there's new ways for people to tell stories um, and there's new ways to, to measure ROI. And there's also new types of ROI as well. Um, ultimately, you know, uh, you know, we as the events industry are trying to instill wonder. We're trying to make someone, uh, you know, feel special. You know, I think one of the <laughs> challenges in this kind of environment is that we talk about creation and disruption, and these words um, become devoid of meaning because we're saying them repeatedly, and they become the they become the velcro that we use with a client. Oh yeah, we'll give you a disruptive event, or we'll uh -huh. give you a creative uh, event. Don't do that to disruption. You already did it to immersive <laughs> and experiential. So, 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 so the word the word loses its power because it yeah. becomes overused. You use the word to describe where your journey started, which was powerful because it was different, and that word was weird. So talk to us about the idea of weird and what that might mean in this context. The, the concept of strange attractors is that somebody steps out from the mainstream and does something interesting over there. That creates its own little attraction. Everyone goes towards it, and all of a sudden, the mainstream becomes all disruptive. And those, you know, whatever they're called, brave new thinkers have got to go and do something else. So by nature of disruption, you're going to have to keep moving on and the word is going to move on to something else anyway.